How do we face troubles in life? We can never deny the reality and the truth that every Christian, every children of God are called in the life of pain and troubles and suffering. That's the reality of Christian life. There are a lot of Christians and there are a lot of uh, preachers today for the purpose of uh, attaining and for the purpose of gaining followers. They sugar they sugar coated the truth about Christianity. Ang sinasabi po nila, if you accept the Lord Jesus Christ, surely your life will be filled with joy. Na walang kaproblem problema. Masaya ang buhay Christiano. Sometimes they have hidden, and many times, ang nangyari po rito is this: they only teach these people half truth of what Christianity is. It is true that being Christian is a life of difference, but it is not a life exempted with pains and troubles in life. Yan po ang katuanan na kailangan nating lunukin. Kailangan nating ituro sa mga sumusunod at sa mga tinuturuan natin. Not only because we desire to have followers. Not only because we desire to have and we would like to establish many people following us. But for the sake of truth, we must tell the people and these people that we are teaching that when it comes to genuine Christianity, the cost talagang uh, grabe ang pag uh, kapal ang uh, grabe ang palit sa pag uh, sunod at pagtanggap kay Cristo Jesus and that is it costs sufferings that for other people it cost their lives in the book of uh, Psalm 22 this has been uh, this has been uh, the cry this has been uh, the plead ni David he stated his concern about his troubles in life. He questioned uh, the presence of God. He questioned um, God's care. He questioned uh, God's uh, God's concern. He questioned God's uh, God's uh, uh, understanding of his situation and of, of his children's situation. And uh, after presenting it. Yet he still stated, yet I will trust in you. Because last time you are a holy God. And right now and today, this is what we are going to study. The reason why David, uh, in spite, despite of the troubles and the sufferings that he have experienced, he clang, he place his trust in the Lord is because not only that God is perfect, holy. He is holy in his faithfulness. He is holy in his promises. He is holy that he will not fail and he will just disappoint and he will just throw away his children. Sabi ng Panginoon dito sa, sa verse 4, another reason why kung bakit uh, uh, sabi ni David na, in spite, despite of the experiences of being left alone, despite of the experiences of being forgotten, despite of the experiences that I have been left out, it's like, bati na kay Diyos, para akong hindi mo ng Panginoon, is this, the testimony of the past. Yes, the testimony of the past. This is the reason why we value testimony. But the testimony should not be hindi ito yung pinaka main uh, main reason why we gather together. For some churches, the very the very center of the service is the testimony. For some, it is the songs. For others, for others, it is the ang uh, tawag the mass but for god's people the center the very center why we gathered together is the the feasting of god's word or the preaching of god's word yet 
Testimony has a great part in the gathering of God's people. It validates pinapatunayan po na totoo ang salita ng Panginoon. It gives evidence of who God is. It gives strengthening to the people na hindi lang pala sila nag -isa. And uh, this is why they would testify if there's a reason why I will still trust in you, my Lord, is this. Not only, the, not, only that is, not only that you are a holy God, but that is because you, you have been faithful, even in the past. Even to our forefathers, you have been faithful to them. Psalm 22 verse 4, sabi niya dito, Our fathers trusted in you. They trusted and thou did deliver them. After presenting and looking back on the pains that he had felt, he looked back. He looked back to the people that God sustained in the past. After looking back to God himself. The highest comfort in times of trouble it is God himself. The second source of our comfort is the testimony of his people on how he preserved and sustained them. Yes. Dito tayo na patugkara tayo. Ito po ang isa sa pinakamagandang tandaan natin. Yung pagtanaw uli sa mga unang mga Kristiyano. This is what is lacking in our days. We have forgotten the testimony of history. There are some books testifying the pains of the Christians before, such as the books of the Fox books, Fox books of martyrs. It is a book that testifies all the martyrs and how they killed the Christians before. How they burned, how they butchered, kung paano nila kinatay yung mga Christiano, the children, just having a page of page of of Bible in their hands or hidden in their houses, they were tortured to death. And there are some testimonies of the great leaders as well. And every time, every time I look up and I, I listen to the history of the leaders before, I tell myself, my pains are just so little compared to them. This is the reason why David went back to the past. For what reason? That is because the past, the testimony of God in the lives of his dear children in the past, strengthens our faith, hope in our pains, in our troubles today. Uh, it's, it is so sad that ito po ang nawawala sa mga, sa mga sa atin ngayon. We are so fun, fond of uh, recollecting uh, mentioning some illustrations in the past, but we do not, we do not really uh, know who they are. I've been talking to one leader yesterday, a church, and uh, he said, "I've been assigned to study history, and I've learned many things about history." And I said to the man, to the man, my brother, if you ask me what subjects do I really like, I tell you, I really like to study theology. Secondly, I like to study the history. This is one of the weakness of Christians today. They don't know their heritage. They don't know God's people who stood up for their faith, for them to understand and for them to see how the faith was passed to them. They don't know the hardships of the people today. And because of the ignorance, they fail to appreciate more their Christian life. Sabi ni David dito, Our fathers trusted in you. He went back to the past. He went back to the pains and sufferings of the leaders in the past. And he said, I will trust the God whom they trust. Because he has been faithful to them. Sabi pa niya dito sa verse 5, They cried unto thee and were delivered. They trusted in thee and were not confounded. As I tried to look back on all their sufferings, on their imprisonments, on how they were tortured and brutally butchered, I know the Lord had strengthened them in their pains. 
I know the Lord had given them enough faith to face the troubles in their own generations and seasons of pains. And I will trust that my Lord, whom they have trust, will do the same in my life, that he will also sustain and strengthen. The Lord did not promise me the absence of troubles. The Lord did not promise a life that has no pains. The Lord had promised that there will be a lot of pains in my life, but he will sustain his children. Oh, my brothers in the Lord, may the God of comfort of our forefathers in the faith strengthen us once more and strengthen us again as a testimony for the next generation to cling. God bless you, my friend.